All right, big deep breath and go again. Go. One. Whoosh. Two. Twenty-four seconds. Yeah, you better not stop. You got twenty-four seconds. Can you keep it shut up? What you waiting on? Look at it. Y'all, it's me, Marie, and I'm back with another freaking video. Okay. Today, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be telling y'all a little story time. And it's going to be about my labor and delivery um, process. Like, I'm going to be showing some little pictures of myself and videos and stuff. So, just keep watching. Make sure you watch the whole video. You know, it'll be crazy, okay? I'm sorry, you guys. I have not posted in like two weeks. But look, me and Kaden been so See, it was crazy like it was crazy we were sick before we get into this video don't forget to subscribe to me and Kate and we gonna have new videos like I'm gonna be on a video schedule from now on so I'm gonna be posting two videos a week I'm gonna try I'm really gonna try because you know we live over here on Marie TV you feel me like um, subscribe all right so first things first the day came around on my due date which was April the 11th I had thought my water had broke but it really did so I went to the doctor to get checked and they told your girl I was still at one centimeter on my due date I was at one centimeter they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine y'all don't understand like if you're pregnant if you're at the end of your pregnancy or if you don't have a baby you know like the end you just like come on like give me my baby I was just so hurt because I was at one centimeter like and I was trying y'all weeks before i was like doing dance games i was squatting i was going to workouts like i was really trying so that i could have him on his due date but when i went there i was at one centimeter it was just like my heart just dropped like it sucked i was like so sad you feel me because you're looking forward to something and then like it don't happen of course you're gonna be sad like that's why i go back home i tell my parents like nothing happened like i'm still at one centimeter like i was just too hurt they was mad because they my mama then got off work thinking that I'm about to have a baby. I didn't, obviously. So she got off work. She was like, we're not like, I'm not getting off work for nothing. Like, come on. It's a hill where I stay like going down to like my driveway and like going down to other houses down my street. So when I tell y'all my big 169 pound pregnant self was running up and down that hill, squatting up and down that hill, power walking up and down that hill like. I was trying to have my Caden, okay? Like, I was really trying to have him, so. We do all that. I go to the hospital the first time. Nothing, like, they're still just like, I feel like I was having contractions, but they were just like, it's just like, little weak contractions, like it's not really doing anything. So, they send me home. So I go home and um, I tried to take some um, castor oil. That didn't work, it just made me have to it wasn't working so I was so sad and this is still April the 11th this is all in the same day okay I had tried to take the castor oil um a couple a couple days before it did the same thing like it just made me point I'm just so sad so mom was like we're gonna try again but this time like you're not gonna stop like if you want to have that baby now then you gotta do something like you got I start actually running and I start doing all that squatting Cause before I kept taking breaks and I was like, I'm tired, like I can't do this. But then I was dedicated. I was like, okay, I'm gonna have this baby. So after that, I went to the bathroom and I felt something like gush a little bit. And I looked down in the toilet and I'm like, sorry TMI, but I mean, if you clicked on this video, you gotta know what you were getting yourself into. Like this whole video is gonna be a little TMI-ish, okay? And until I feel the gush and I'm like, like y'all my water bro like I'm OD happy like I'm so excited I'm like y'all my water bro I feel like my water bro blah, blah. so they take me to the hospital I get to the hospital and I am two yeah two centimeters dollars I want one more centimeter for what I was before two at that point like I'm so discouraged like well, I just try everything like I'm in mean, real I'm in mean, I'm in mean, all of this like I'm still at two centimeters like I was sad like I'm not even like a an emotional quality type person so I wasn't crying or anything but I was just so discouraged like I was so sad I was like bro I just can't do this like but my mom the doctor that was on call that day was the same doctor that delivered me and delivered my sister and so my mom knew her real well and she was like she wasn't gonna send me home but I had a mountain time to progress until like four centimeters or she would have to but what we did we stayed in the hospital, they got me changed. I was in this little gown, put a picture right here. And, oh my God, y'all, like, look at that. And look at this. 
look how fat my face looks like that is crazy and taking me to the gown i'm all you know ready so we start going up and down the hallway up and down i kept wanting to stop mom was like no keep going we're going up and down the hallway I, then when i start doing that i start feeling the contraction bad boy like i was like okay we need to learn okay Okay. Well, ice was my best friend. I know y'all seen that, that picture right there. I just kept eating ice and I kept walking and I just kept eating ice and I kept walking. Then they gave me a little ball. So I started bouncing on the ball when I would get too tired of walking. So finally, they gave me that time. At that time, they told me, um, they was going to check me. They checked me. Your girl was at four centimeters, okay? And at that point, if you're at four centimeters, they have to hospitalize you because you could just jump to 10 or you could just jump to like 5, you know. At that point, it was like, okay, so we're going to move you to the big room, to the actual labor and delivery room. And I was so happy, like, once I get in there, they're going to um, hook me up to the IV, like, I'm going to be good. I think I have a picture. I have a picture of me in the room. I'm going to put it right here. And I was in the room, you know, just laying there. Tractions was getting bad. You feel me? Like, they was getting bad. But, you know me, I'm like a... I'm not a person that show like I have a high pain tolerance, like a really high pain tolerance. So you know I wasn't crying or anything, but I'm like God. In my head, I'm like God, this hurt. This really hurt. Like, I had told myself I didn't want to do no medicine. I'm gonna try to do no medicine. I was trying to go as hard as far as I can, as many centimeters without doing no medicine. I had took it into like around five centimeters, and I was like. Yeah, I have something that's not an epidural. Like, I didn't want to get nothing in my back. I thought oh, it was going to hurt. I thought I was going to be paralyzed. You know, all the little stories they tell you of how it's going to hurt. I didn't see the video. Because, you know, when you're pregnant, you just watch videos. I'm pretty sure some of y'all is pregnant right now and watching my videos. You just watch videos of other people's experiences and other people's stories and stuff like that. So, I was scared of the epidural. So, I was like, do y'all have anything else like y'all can give me that's not the epidural? So, it's a thing called Pitocin, I think. I get some of that and y'all, this right here will make you trip. Like I started seeing everything was like in a kaleidoscope, like I'm an insert. Everything looked like that, like it was just like wonky and crazy and things in the kaleidoscope and I was looking around, like, like I was just looking around like what is like, I know I'm not tripping. And my mama said at that point I had gotten really mean like she was trying to wipe my mouth and stuff and I just looked at her like that like I was just really aggravated at that point and that was the side effect of the medicine like it was your girl was like going through it and my sister comes in the room and she literally starts crying because I guess it looks like that I'm in that much pain because you know I'm not trying to show up but I'm just like like I have a picture right here of my face like I'm just like just rocking just, just crying and i'm like bro stop crying like i'm not even crying we found out that my water didn't even really break so they had to break my water like that process was so horrifying for me like that was so my water had broke a little bit like when i told y'all earlier when i heard that little gush it was but my full water had not broken so she had to stick that up there and just break the water and after that it was just like whoosh that was the point when I cried. Just a little bit, you know, like just a little bit. Now, like, mm -hmm. just like just a little bit. After she broke my water, that's when <laughs> hit the fan. Okay, that's when it got real. After she broke that water, it was contractions like like a minute apart. Like, boom, boom, boom. I was like, Mama, I'm sorry, but I gotta get this epidural. She was like, No, baby, you're fine. You got this. Like, if you need an epidural, you can get it. You done made a long time, and your girl went all the way to set. Is that? Seven centimeters, okay, without um any epidural. If you don't know, you only have to go to 10. And I know I probably could have waited out a little bit, but I was just like, nah. I said they put that epidural in me, girl. I was laid back, chilling, good. Like, I thought I took a little nap. It was only like, after they put that epidural, it was only like 15 minutes so I had to start pushing because I was already that close, I was at seven centimeters. So, you know, I was chilling after the epidural. Like, I was good, you know, I was laughing a little bit. Like joking with my family and stuff like that and then I was trying to go back to sleep and I kept feeling like I had to poop and I was like no you don't have to poop um I was like yeah I gotta go to the bathroom like how are y'all gonna tell me like I gotta go to the bathroom like how are y'all gonna tell me I gotta poop like what you talking about oh that was like no that's just the pressure of the baby's head going down blah 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 like, 
No, like, what are you talking about? Like, I gotta go to the bathroom. And I'm like, you cannot go to the bathroom. You do gotta go to the bathroom. You gotta go to the bathroom on yourself. And I was like, okay. So, nah. I would try to go back to sleep. And I just felt that pressure down there. And I kept thinking about how to use the bathroom. So when the doctor finally came in and she checked me, she was like, yo, that's, the baby head is right there. Like, that's why you're feeling like that. The baby's head was literally right there. And so I see her doing something. And I'm like, honey, what you doing? Like, but literally the baby's head was right there. <laughs> she was pulling his hair. Like he had so much hair to the point, like it was coming. Like all you could see was so much hair. And she's like, oh my gosh, like he got a lot of hair. So after that, it was a girl beside me, okay? And we was in labor at the same time. Like, we was going back and forth. And I was like, okay, I'm not gonna let this hoe beat me. No, I'm having head in first. So, you know, it's one doctor and it's both of us. So we're basically, they was like, oh, she's something, something. Oh, she's crowning. She went back over there. So I was like, okay, no, like, I'm not gonna let this hoe beat me. Like, no. So as I'm pushing, I have to stop pushing so the doctor can run over to the other the room beside me because somebody's doing uh having their baby in there she's going back and forth and i have to sit there and hold like leave the baby right there and let it like sit a little bit because she has to go back to the other lady so we're going back and forth she ended up having her baby before me whatever but yeah so and i end up you know pushing Katie now it's gonna be i'm gonna have the video like it Pushing, I'm not crying, I didn't scream, like none of that. I'm just pushing, and you know, he finally comes out. And I'm gonna put the video right here. Like, look at us! Oh my god! And as you can see, my face, I'm just like, like, um, oh my god, like, this is surreal. Like, there's literally my baby, my baby's literally in my hand right now. Like, are you kidding me? Like, I was just like, I know you can see it in the video, but. It's just like crazy to like, okay, this is for real now. Like, the, my baby is in my hand. Like, this is crazy. Like, I didn't cry. I'm, I'm telling y'all, I'm not like a mental person. I guess first thought was like, he's actually cute. And I know that's so bad. It's because like, this is so wrong with me. But like, I pick, I don't pick. I ain't even gonna lie. I just be laughing at like a lot of stuff. And you know how people say like, all right, keep on. That your baby gonna come out like that, or keep on, India. That told me that like my whole pregnancy, and like I was just thinking, like, Lord, please don't let my baby be ugly. I mean, it's not nothing wrong with an ugly baby. Like I was just like, please don't let my baby be ugly. Like, please. <laughs> after that, they left us be a little bit. You know, they do the whole thing. You know, clean them up, all that, blah blah. They give them back to me. I was so in love, like, I was like, this is really my baby, he's right here, like, just, it's the best feeling, like, literally the best feeling, and the feeling don't stop, like, just sitting there looking at him, like, right now, he's right there. I just love him so much. The things they don't tell you about, because I thought I was going to have my makeup done in there, like, I was going to be on fleek. They make labor seem so much different, like movies and like what you hear and stuff. Like, one, it's not that bad. Like, I've seen a status. If I find out, I put it right here. It was like, you're gonna feel like your butthole falling out or something like that. I was like, it was not that bad at all. Like, it was bad, but it was like, I swear I've had like a toothache or something worse than labor was. Or maybe that's just me and my pain tolerance level, but like, yeah, it was not that bad. Also, didn't nobody tell me that you are going to shake. Like, when you're in labor, you're going to shake. Like, I was in there like, I was like, what's going on with me? Like, am I having a seizure? Like, I'm um, doctor. But I guess it's like a pretty common thing. And I promise you, you guys, like, if you're um about to have a baby yeah, or if you just want to know, you're gonna have to be comfortable with your nurses because the nurses, the three days or how many days you're there, they're gonna be like your best friend. Um, 
What's her name? Amber. Like, she was so nice and she was so sweet and she was funny. She made us feel so welcome and at home. Like, I just loved the whole experience. And the food, the hospital food was too good. Oh my God. waking up i think we should bring him in the bed yeah i thought he was waking up but he's still asleep and now i have this beautiful little boy he's 11 months now and he will be one his birthday is april 12th y'all i missed my due dates by five minutes like all that happened in one day and then he ended up coming five minutes 1205 he was born so he was born april 12th instead of the 11th it's okay that's gonna be the end of this video make sure y'all like comment and subscribe that little button down here or down there wherever i'm sorry but wherever it is make sure y'all subscribe to me and kaden because we're gonna have more videos for y'all i actually got this video idea by somebody commenting on another one of my videos so if there's something y'all want to see comment or like um dm me or something like tell me i love you guys bye